Hello, this is the fourth video on index numbers and we are going to see calculation of price index once again using last pairs and passes method but in this example we are going to see data for three years in which we are going to calculate the index for two years keeping the first year data as the base year. Once again, remember the formula to find out last pairs and passes index. The sigma is the summation sign and uh, the formula of price relative which is Pn by P0 is same in both the methods. So the only difference is in terms of the quantity which in case of last pairs is base year quantity therefore we also call it base weighted index whereas in case of past sales, we use current year quantities and therefore we also call it current weighted index once again in both the methods we multiply by a hundred although we do not report the answer in percentage now let us look at the example so, I have now data also for the year 1997. Remember, we used this information before to find out last pairs and fast days index for 1996, keeping 1995 as base year. Now we are going to find out the last pairs and fast days index for 1997 as well, keeping 1995 as base year. So first, we will change and keep some more notations for simplicity. Now, because that we have one more year, instead of saying Pn, what we can say is P1 for price of 1996 and Q1 for price of 1996. And similarly, P2 and Q2 for price and quantity of 1997 respectively now we need to find some information so uh, let's change them on as well so what we need now uh, is this is p0q0 which is fine this is p1q0 which is fine so instead of p0qn we need to say p0q1 here um, P and Q N will say P1 Q1. Now we need to find out information related with year 1997. Now we do not need to find out P0 Q0 because we already have it. So we need to know now P not Q2 and P2 Q not and lastly p2 q2 so this is easy to find p0 is here multiplied by q2 is here p0 q2 and p2 q0 which is here p2 multiplied by q0 which is here okay and finally we have p2 Q2 which is 300 multiplied by 27 let me check it if we've done it correctly P0 Q2 which is P0 250 and 27 so B4 and G4 so B4 and we need to make it G4 okay so now we can copy this for to find the numbers for other items and simply find the summation using the coffee formula once again and here is our uh, last pairs index which is p2 q0 divided by p0 q0 and here is our past days index which is p2 q2 divided by p0 q2 we need to multiply them by a hundred so multiply by a hundred 
and uh, multiply by 100. So we have now information related with uh, these uh, last pairs and past days for year 1997 as well. So we'll put it in the form of a table. So year 0, 1 and 2 and we have here last pairs index and here past days index so in last pairs we have for year 0 it will be 100 and 100 because this is base year index in year 1 we have 114.386 um, for last pairs and year 2 we have 121.579 similarly we've got 114.519 for last pairs in year 1 and 120.95 for past days we may like to keep them in two decimal places um, to make it look uh, better so uh, number two decimal okay so we have found out last pairs and past days index um, for year 1996 and 1997 keeping 1995 as our base year and this is it thank you